Hi guys, my name is Davis and welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be unboxing one of the most hotly anticipated products of the whole year. Um, if you were to order one of these, I think you have to wait until February until you can get your hands on it. And some of these are actually going for well over $80 on eBay. And of course, I'm talking about the $29 Apple polishing cloth. Now I'm really excited to unbox this because nothing gets me more excited than, than a new cloth to feel. Um, but if you are just as excited as I am, uh, make sure that you like and subscribe. Um, it really helps me out. And comment if, you, um, if you're going to give some loved ones this for Christmas because I think it is a fantastic gift. Um, on the front we can see that it says Apple polishing cloth and there's a lovely picture of it. It does actually look a lot like, um, let me just grab it, um, my Logitech um, <laughs> desk mat. It's sort of the same type of grey, um, but you know, I'm sure Apple wasn't taking inspiration from that. On the back, um, it says polishing cloth in a number of languages, so that's very exciting. And then over here it says, safe to use on all Apple displays, including the nano texture glass, which is only found on the Apple XDR display with the nano glass option. And this cloth actually came with all of those monitors, but you couldn't actually get a replacement until now. So I think this is what Apple intended. But instead, um, obviously, as with all things Apple, this went viral and now everyone wants it. Um, over here, we've got the same sort of um, strip that we find on most modern iPhones um, instead of plastic. So that's really cool. And I think that's all I've got to say, apart from the fact that um, while some people have been saying that 29 Australian is pretty expensive for a cloth like this, it really isn't unheard of. For example, I'm a big fan of the, um, what's it called? The Panda Glass um, Spray and Cloth. It's called a twice a day. And um, this is, this cloth costs, I think, more than $20. So it's sort of similar in price. Um, but it does come with a spray, so there is that. I think we'll be comparing it with this a bit later on. And also to compare it to, I do have the original unused HP touchpad microfiber cloth that comes with um, an HP touchpad. This is very similar to the types of cloths that Apple used to include on MacBooks, but I couldn't find any of those, so this will have to do. There's a lovely embossed HP over here, which is very lovely. But I'm sure that this will be even lovelier. So let's open it. Um, let's peel it. This is the problem with these types of um, seals. They just don't give you that satisfaction that plastic used to. And I think it happens to open like this because I've seen the iJustine video. <gasps> Look at that, it is. <laughs> a cloth and it feels really good it feels like a good microfiber cloth something that you'd use to i don't know wash your car with perhaps um so inside the box there's literally nothing left it's just a cloth and um ooh. Inside the cloth, there is this piece of cardboard, which is also um, an instruction manual as such, because it says safe for use on everything. But it also mentions that you can use 70% alcohol solution on it, which is uh, more than I thought. I okay, instantly I have to say, this is probably the highest quality cloth I've ever felt. It's really properly thick. Like, it feels like that it's at least I don't know, 10 times thicker than this HP cloth. And um, as we can see down here, there is the Apple, um, there's the Apple logo embossed and it's very beautiful. It feels sort of like a microfiber suede material. And it's, um, if it was a piece of clothing, it would keep you very warm. It's, it's just so much thicker than this one. Compared to the Panda twice a day though, um, it's, I'd say it's, it feels denser, but um, not necessarily thicker than that. Um, the Panzer one, it's sort of got two sides. You're supposed to clean the screen with this sort of microfibery um, texture, which is sort of like the Apple one, and then you polish it with the other side, which is um, more of a satin-like material. Um, Apple didn't feel the need to have two sides to this cloth, so um, I guess that's a win for the Panzer spray cloth. But the, um, the, the, the sides, is uh, do feel a little bit more higher quality than the um, than the Panzer. Just look at that. That looks like very cheap stitching. I'm sure it's not cheap, but it looks cheap. And if we compare that to the um, to the Apple one, 
that is just a lot nicer. Shall we start wiping a few things? I think we should. So here is my iPhone 13. Obviously, there's tons of smudges on the front. Let's try it naked first. Let's not try putting any spray on it. Let's just try wiping it. Um, I'll just wipe the bottom half. And um, oh, I'm just <laughs> pressing all the buttons here. Okay, it's sort of getting rid of this. It's sort of getting rid of the smudges, but it's just not that effective. I feel like it's adding more dust onto the screen than it really is cleaning. Um, you probably need to use a little bit of liquid. Let's try the HP one. Um, I'm actually having a feeling that this type of cloth cleans better because um, this is polishing a lot better than... Oh no, I actually think they're similar, but um, I do actually prefer the feel of um, using a this sort of thinner material and there's a little bit um, less um, resistance as well and then finally the Panzer okay what I'm finding out here is that all of these cloths clean about the same good but let's try it with a spray and the Panzer one you're supposed to spray it like this and then you um you, you wipe it and then you polish it like so and then you just get a really good, clean look. Like that works really well. Um, this is already clean, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Let's clean it again. And then the Apple one. Um, it's not very absorbent. <laughs> I just put way too much liquid on it and um, it's just running off. Yeah, that's not very good. So maybe don't use the Apple one with the spray. Just use the Panzer one with the spray. Okay, so what I'm saying essentially is don't get the apple cloth, just get this Panzer one. And I'm totally not sponsored. <laughs> uh, but I don't know, I could probably sell this on um, eBay for $60, I guess. Maybe not the full 80 anymore now, now that I've opened it, but it's a good investment. <laughs> okay, so let's try one more thing. This is my um, M1 MacBook Pro, and I've been using it for a little while. It's got a very disgusting screen. So if we were to open it up, you can see my thick notch that I put over there. Uh, you know, there's fingerprints, there's dust. Let's see if this can clean effectively. I've already got a little bit of cleaning solution on it. So let's just clean this half. I feel that it's, the thing is there's a lot of resistance when you use this. It's just, it doesn't feel particularly easy. And it's still a little bit smudgy. So just put a little bit more liquid on it, maybe. Let's do that. Okay, it just feels like I'm smudging all of the oils and stuff around. And I'll use the Panzer spray with the other one. So you're supposed to just spray like that. And then once you've cleaned it, you polish it with the other side. Yeah, it's, it's literally night and day. The apple side still looks really smudgy and the panzer side looks great. Mmm. Okay, so my conclusion basically is the apple cloth feels really good quality and is probably a great investment, um, but just doesn't clean that well. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's become an accidental spawn for Panzer. So Panzer Glass, please sponsor me. Your stuff is great and is um, better and cheaper than the Apple Cloth. The end. Anyway guys, I hope that you liked this little silly video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so. Comment what is your favourite polishing cloth and if you'd buy this Apple one. Because honestly, I am a little bit disappointed. And on that note, toodaloo. <laughs>